some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's uh, video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of the Honorable Judge Milton as he takes on a Moorish sovereign citizen and completely dominates him. I mean, it is quite hilarious. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Morrow Bay, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, this is file 21213ST. It's entitled People versus Samuel R. Perdue, who refers to himself as Samir Siraj Morrow Bay. His mother named him Samuel R. Perdue. Uh, Mr. Perdue, you got another ticket for driving with a suspended license, second offense, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. You're also charged with speeding. I'm assuming you're going to plead not guilty to both of those? No, of course not. I'm innocent, and my name is not Mr. Perdue, so I would, um, I would appreciate if you didn't call me Mr. Perdue. Okay, Mr. Purdue, I've got a couple issues here that I need to discuss with you. First of all, did you legally change your name to that other uh, more sovereign citizen name? If not, then you're still named Mr. Purdue. Second of all, you were asked if you were going to plead guilty or not guilty. And you said that you were going to plead innocent, which is basically the same damn thing. And at this point, I don't know if you're trying to play semantic word games and failing or what, but it just seemed outrageously stupid at the time. Test off the judge for you. All right. Um, well, Mr. Bay, Mr. Bay, let me tell you this. Stop. Yeah, you're from some alternate universe where you don't have to obey the laws. Of no, the you don't respect the law, sir. Stop. If you drive again here in St. Joe County, I'm going to set your butt at ten thousand dollars. And uh, also, I'm, I'm going to lie set this. to you. You see this? Are you looking? Uh, I was forced to get a, um <clears throat> get this license. I don't want it, but as you can see, your officer is a liar. Well, what's the name on that? Is that Sandra Perdue or Mr. Morrow Bay? Well, if that is indeed his driver's license, which I severely doubt that it is, uh, he most likely has not been able to change his uh, legal name as of yet for whatever reason. So it's most likely Samuel Perdue on that card. Um, I'm forced to do this. Anything I do with y'all is under threat, duress, and coercion. So, so you um, have, you every have, time I travel, clearly, all right, you one have, of your uh, commercial mercenaries keep pulling me over. You have, you have a driver's license? Because your, your, your commercial mercenaries continue to pull me over, and they won't leave me alone. Well, stop driving. <laughs> you serious? Well, yeah, Mr. Perdufus, if you would uh, drive legally with your license, registration, tags, and everything like that, then those so-called commercial pirates or whatever the hell you call them, well, we call them cops, would stop pulling you over and stop ticketing you, and you'd stop ending up in court. But I guess it's just too sophisticated for a smooth brain softard like yourself to comprehend. And I'm not going to use the word understand in this case because you misinterpret that simple word as well. At least stay uh, out don't of drive. Drive. I travel. All right. Traveling is one thing, driving is another. You can travel all you want. All right, but let me let me make this I, that's clear. That's what I'm doing, and they won't so, let me travel. They won't let me travel on my own land. And you're violating you're you're violating the law, and you know it. Violating the law. <laughs> well, one of us is. He's uh, definitely violating the law, and anybody who needs to know anything about now, the law, slow down, talk about slow it. down for a minute. Um, do you, that license you held up is it a valid Michigan driver's license? Is it a valid Michigan driver's license? Albo. I was forced to go to the to um your secretary of state because you guys won't let me travel on my own land. 
And this is why I suspect that that is not a uh, driver's license at all. It might be a state-issued uh, identification card for the simple fact that he didn't even try to answer the question. He just tried to dodge it. That's as valid as it is. What's really valid is my nationality that you keep denying. So you're denying me due process and you know it. Well, you haven't been convicted of anything yet. I'm just telling you, if you continue to keep driving on some cockamamie I don't thing, drive. you're, well, you're behind the wheel of a car. Give me this BS about traveling versus driving. I'm just telling you right now, you heard it here. Right. If you drive again in St. Joseph County and you get another ticket, I'm going to set a very high bond. You can sit in jail for 28 days until we sort this out. You're presumed to be innocent of the charges that you're charged with, and you've exercised your constitutional right to plead not guilty. No, I didn't plead not guilty. You said that. I said I'm innocent. All right, fair enough. We'll set this for a last pre-trial. Are you still at 312 North Sage Street, apartment 302? North America is my domicile. You can send whatever information you want to that to that address. That is fine. All right. Very smart. So any judge who does not comply with this oath of office to the Constitution of the United States wars against the Constitution and engages in action. All right, I'm going to mute your microphone. I don't want to hear this crazy... Uh, nonsensical thing. Oh man, you've got to love Judge Middleton. He doesn't put up with any BS, especially from sovereign citizens, not from more sovereign citizens, not from any of their class. This is the way that every sovereign citizen and more sovereign citizens should be treated in the courts. They get their fair deal. But they can't talk any of the BS because, you know, it really doesn't belong in court anyway. I'm you for a last pretrial. We'll pick a date and I'll send it to you in the mail. I don't expect that it'll settle the case. We already have one case set for a jury trial. We'll probably set both of these for a jury trial. I will give you credit. You always log in in a timely manner which I appreciate. I'll give you a new notice. It'll be on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, we're going to skip the regular pretrial and just go right to the last pretrial. I expect <laughs> this to be set for a jury trial. All I'm telling you is stop driving and stop <coughs> St. George County. All right, sir, you're good to go. And, well, that's that. No BS, no fuss, no muss. He let uh, the soft tart a little bit of his way, but when he realized he was going to get out of hand, he just shut off the dude's mic. This is how it should be, so court proceedings are not interrupted and prolonged. So let's give Judge Middleton a round of applause and thank him for his service. And I hope you guys like the video, and I will see you on the next one.